What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody on the Bad Boy membership. Remember, if you're on the Bad Boy membership, you will be the first to see the Game Kings documentary. You understand? Fire game. Over two hours of straight game. Just quality game. Like, we, man, listen, man. You, you, know, you know what we did, man. We traveled. We interviewed these dudes. You know what I'm saying? We got... Uh, Rosebud, we got Boss Mac Topsoil, Eddie Fuse, Rom Wills, Steve the Dean, Lucario, and myself. You understand? We got all of these guys talking about the definition of game and, uh, and a bunch of other things, man. We got so much game in this documentary. Trust me, you're going to want to see it. You're going to want to see it. You're going to want to watch it again and again and again because it's so many jewels being dropped. You're not going to catch everything the first time. I guarantee you. You feel me? But if you're on a Bad Boy membership, you ain't got nothing to worry about because we're dropping it on a Bad Boy membership September 1st, right? So if you're on a Bad Boy membership, you're going to get it. You, you're going to get to see the documentary first just for being on a Bad Boy membership because it's, you know, we, we feel that those people that support us on a consistent basis, those are the people that, you know, really help keep this thing going. The, those are the people that actually made the documentary possible. You get what I'm saying? Because we ain't got no GoFundMes and no, you know, we ain't got no campaigns to get free money out here. Like, we working hard, and the people that support, we work hard for them. So that's why we're saying thank you, and that's why the people on the Bad Boy membership is going to get to see the documentary first. But you could be one of those people. All you got to do is join the Bad Boy membership. And we got so, so much content on there to help you turn this into a lifestyle where you can get exactly what you want out of life, get exactly what you want from these bitches. You feel me? Get exactly what you want from these females, from these women. You understand? So, yeah, man. Shout out to everybody on the Bad Boy membership. <clears throat> um, shout out to all the supporters, everybody that calls in on the live streams, everybody that donates, uh, everybody that, that be in the chat. We, we you know, whatever's whatever, man. We disagree, we whatever, but we, we fuck with you guys, man, because you guys help make the show what it is. You feel me? So, it's all good. It's all good. Um, uh, shout out to K Zagan. Shout out to... Myron from Unplugged Fit, you know, check their channels out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Afi Kingdom. All the dudes that, that be, you know, coming through on our, on our um, live streams and stuff, we really appreciate you guys, all right? So, today, um, this is another installment of personal care versus looks, right? Where I try to debunk the whole looks versus game uh, argument and let you know that you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna have, you're gonna look good once you take care of yourself. And taking care of yourself is a big part of game. You understand what I'm saying? So this one, personal care versus looks. This one, I'm gonna talk about cologne, right? I've been seeing a lot of dudes in the comments, in the chats. They wanna ask Miles Cunningham about colognes and what colognes you wear and all this and all that. So I'm gonna finally do it. Um, I got four of my top choice. I, I have a little bit more, but I have four of my top choice colognes that I use, um, you know, when I go out, when I'm, you know, cruising for bras or when I'm out on a date or whatever. So I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know what those are. But first, what I, wanna to, what I wanna talk about a little bit is hygiene, right? And again, this is all about personal care and how it translates in, into looks, into how you look to the, you know, to the female or to any chick that you're approaching or whatever, you get me? So. What I, what I want to talk about is hygiene, right? So first, you got to wash your ass. You have to wash your ass. Now, to tell you what I do, I love soap. I'm a big soap dude. Like, I, yo, I don't even, I go to fucking, check this out. So I go to Ross, Burlington Coat Factory, or um, Marshalls, right? And I go to the, it's going to sound, it's going to sound weird, but follow me. I go to the, um, to the, to the women's toiletry section, right? But they have these soaps, bro, like these like high quality soaps that are made in like Italy and they're vegetable based and they, they smell real good and they moisturize your skin really, really good. You see what I'm saying? At least it, they work for me. Everybody has different skin, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you have to use a special soap, hey, check with your dermatologist and all that, but I'm just telling you what I do. I love to smell good and I love to start that process from when I take a shower, not just throwing on cologne. You understand? So um, I get, I get the, um, I get, I get anything that that has lavender or uh, uh, gardenia or like jasmine. 
those are the scents that I like to shower with or I like to bathe with. You see what I'm saying? And I use, so I use the, the, the bar of soap and I have like a, I have this big loofah. I have this big ass loofah that exfoliates, right? So I, you know, you know, I, I take time. You understand? Sometimes, sometimes I go through twice. You know what I'm saying? I take time and I scrub my skin. I get all the dead skin cells off. I really, really wash my ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it might be too much information, but just keeping it real. I, I take the, I take the soap, take the bar of soap and I, I get all up in my ass crack. You understand? No homo, but I get all up in my ass crack and I clean out anything that might be there. Any chunks or any, <laughs> anything I didn't, anything I missed from the, from the day. You know what I'm saying? Cause whatever I'm, I'm just being totally real with you i take the time to make sure my ass is clean you get what i'm saying like i got the bar of soap in the crack of my ass and i and i even cardi b did a did a fucking video like this the other day where she was talking about getting your finger all up in there i mean i, I don't really get my finger all up in there but the 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 uh the anus the anus is clean the opening right there in the back in the crack that shit clean bro like i i get all up in there but anyway and the reason why I say this is because I've had, <clears throat> again, this might be too much information, but I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. I've had situations where <sighs> it's been a long day. I didn't get to wash my ass like how I really wanted to wash my ass. And I was getting some head and, and, and the chick was honest with me. She was like, you ain't get to wash your ass today, did you? And I was like, nah, why? She was like, because I can smell your ass while I'm trying to give you head. I can smell your ass while I'm sucking your dick. So that's the reason why that's so important. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, just trying to keep it real. I know it is weird, but wash your ass, fellas. Like, get in there. Get in the crack. Do what you got to do and really wash your ass. If you need to use two different kinds of um, wash rags or whatever, do what you got to do. But wash your ass thoroughly. You understand? Make sure there's no residue, nothing that's left there. Okay, good. I'm done on that. Okay. So wash your ass. You know, um, like I said, I use something that's an exfoliant. So I scrub my skin with the ex exfoliant right um and then once i get out the shower now this is the part that i think is like is really is really critical right because once i get out the shower i moisturize with natural stuff so i either use shea butter or i use coconut oil okay shea butter or coconut oil these are two natural things now the soaps that i talked about before they have some chemicals in it but like i said it smells real good and i like it and it works for my skin but when I get to the moisturizing part though, that's where I try to go really natural with it. You get what I'm saying? So I use natural shea butter or I use um, coconut oil. Now the coconut oil that I use, you could go to like, you know, any one of these good, good uh, um, supermarkets and buy co the same coconut oil that you, that you cook with, but make sure it's the extra virgin unrefined coconut oil the one the, the coconut oil that when you open it it smells like coconut you understand what i'm saying now the reason why that 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 uh that's so critical is because you want to create a base you want to create a base of like of okay this is not you want to but this is what i do i, I do it to of course to have soft you know uh shiny skin right but i also do it to create a, a base of sweetness okay and that's what the the coconut oil does there's a and the shea butter as well because i actually i actually mix my coconut oil and shea butter together i melt them down i mix them together and i put some um topical oils i might put lavender or some um lavender or some jasmine oil or but that's like that's probably a whole nother video but to start with, if you could get some co some coconut oil, like I said, same coconut oil that you cook with, just make sure it's it's unrefined and it's uh it's yeah it's unrefined and organic. If you could get the organic kind, that's really good too, right? And what what I do with that is I use that on my skin to create a a, a base of sweetness. And what I what I feel that it does is it mixed with my own my own my own body oils and my own pheromones. You understand my own masculine sense uh, my own energies and and you know whatever my my body gives us naturally the coconut oil mixes with that and it smells just a little bit sweet you get what i'm saying so then then after that i get dressed and everything and then that's when i get to the colognes okay now the first cologne that i want to talk about is a all-around cologne that i like i just love the smell and you know uh it's just is i just like it right and 
Um, I got it for, I actually got it for Christmas. Um, shout out to, you know who you are, I got it for Christmas. So, this is Mr. Burberry, Mr. Burberry, okay? I love the way this shit smells, man. It's just, it's just an all around good smell, right? And then, um, you know, with these colognes, I do the ear, behind the ear, behind the neck, um, right here in the middle of the arm, right here in the other middle of the arm, uh, one on the chest, and then some, sometimes I put a little bit on above the crotch, just a little bit right there, just a little spritz right there. So when it's time to get some head, we got the good, you know, we got the good smelling shit going on. Because I, I just, I'm just all about smelling good, taking care of myself, you understand? So there's no, there's no problems, you get me? There's no problems. When we want to get intimate, a, 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 a female want to put her mouth on me, it's all good. Like, she smells some quality shit and she's going in, you feel me? Um, <laughs> the next cologne that I, that I really mess with is uh, Versace Par Om or Versace for Men, right? Versace Port Ohm. This is the, you know, the light blue one. And this, this is just, man, what I was in the store one time and I don't know if I had too much on, but the, the bitch was on the other side of the store and she was like, somebody smelled good. And I was like, yeah, that's me, bitch. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, uh, Versace Port Ohm is just a dope, dope scent. Like, you know, check it out if you get the chance, um, you know, go to, go to, a, 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 a nice trick is to go to uh, Sephora and get a, a, a sample, you know, ask them for a sample and you can try it out for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the next one that I that I mess with. OK, so one time I was at this concert, um, I was actually doing a job. I was doing some videography work and some photography work and I was backstage and one of the band members, he walked past me and man, I was like, what what the hell is that? I had to ask him. I was like, yo, what is that? And he said he said it was Halloween man. I thought he was joking, but I went online and I looked it up and it's a it's a it's a French cologne called Halloween man. You understand? So I went online and I and I found it and man, it's I, I like it. I really like it. See, I'm I'm going to tell you about all the scents that I choose is that they're strong and they're masculine, but they have a sweet backing to it. You get what I'm saying? Because me, I'm the type of person where I want to I want to push my masculine energy, but when I get close to a, a chick, I want that like that smooth sweetness to 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 make her want to, you know, get closer to me. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I start off with the with the coconut oil or the shea butter on my skin. You get what I'm saying? So it's like even if they're not smelling the cologne, they're still getting some of the, the coconut oil. You feel me? But all of these colognes, they're you know, they're masculine. And they're fresh, but they have the, a sweet backing, like a lavender type of backing or, you know, some type of some type of sweetness to them where it's like it's fresh, it's masculine, but it's like, ooh, it's sweet. Like it's and it's warm. You understand? And then so the last cologne that I really that I really, really like um, and this this has gotten me a lot of compliments. Like the other day I had a, I had a bitch. She walked past me, then came back. And she 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 kind of she kind of touched my shirt and pulled and pulled me closer to her and then she sniffed me, bruh. The bitch sniffed me, and she was like, "Oh my god, you smell so fucking good." And then she ran, like she literally ran because she knew I was trying to. I was gonna start like you know putting him you know start spitting game, but she ran because she knew she was already fucked up just from the scent of the cologne. You understand what I'm saying? But this is uh, Sauvage by Christian Dior. You get what I'm saying? So. This is a really nice cologne. This is also, it's, it's fresh, um, it's very masculine, but it's, it also has like a like a sweetness to it. You get what I'm saying? That's the type of colognes that I like. You know, like I said, uh, it's all about, the, you know, the masculinity, but then at the back, it, it kind of like, it has like a, like a lingering sweet smell where it's like, it's not too strong that she don't want to get close to me. You get what I'm saying? And that's, those are the type of colognes that I like. And that's, and those are the, those are the four main colognes that I, that I fuck with, um, and you know, like I said, but it starts with hygiene. Don't think you could get away with not washing your ass and just throwing on a bunch of fucking cologne, and you know what I'm saying? You gotta wash your ass, then you gotta moisturize your skin. You get what I'm saying? Because, see, you, you have to think about everything, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta brush your fucking teeth, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would suggest that if you don't have one, Brush your teeth with a regular toothbrush and brush your teeth with one of those motorized joints, like a 
Oral B Sonic Care or a Philips joint or whatever. Reason why is because you want to have a nice polish to your teeth. Because here's here's and here's what it is. And I don't really I don't really get manicures like that, but I I have I have in the past, you know. And I, and I think I should start doing it more often. Um, but I kind of um I kind of. I kind of grew my own fingernails and stuff, and then I, you know, I throw the coconut oil and I, I um, I grease my cuticles and all that shit. Cause here's the thing, you come, you 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 you're coming on to a woman, you you're approaching her, you know, you want to touch her, you want to kiss her, you want to hug her, you want to get close to her. All of these things you have to prepare. You understand? And this is this is the game part of it. You want to prepare all those things. You understand? It's like. If you if you buy new furniture, you got to have space to put it right. So you want to bring that chicken to your frame. You have to make the space comfortable. You have to set things up. Right. So that's why I say you got to wash your ass. You know, I'm already thinking about the bitch giving me head. That's why I'm, I got the bar of soap in the crack of my ass, making sure that shit is clean as fuck. So when she's giving me head, all she smell is is cologne and, and, and masculinity while, while she's deep throating. You feel what I'm saying? That, this is what, this is the, the, this is preparation. This is game. This is personal care. This is, this is before you even get to looks. You understand? But what I'm saying is it, trans, it translates to looks because this is the type of shit that'll get you the choosing signals that y'all lazy motherfuckers like. You understand? Because that bitch ran up on me and sniffed me and said, oh my fucking God, you smell so good. I didn't do nothing. I was just, I just put on my cologne and I just let this shit happen because I made that preparation. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put some links. I'm gonna put links in the, uh, in the description for the colognes that, so you guys can check them out for yourself. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, personal care, you got to really take care of yourself. You have to, you have to, um, and it starts with hygiene. You understand? Brush your teeth. Make sure your nails are good. Make sure your shoes are clean. Make sure your outfit is tight. You know what I'm saying? Get your accessories popping. You know, if you if you like rings, get some rings. If you like chains, get a chain. Get some bracelet, some bracelets or something. Um, you know, get a watch. Uh, everything works together. You understand? Everything works together. It's not just one thing. It's a it's a system of things. And then and then you 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 uh you highlight everything with a cologne, with your scent, with your aura, with you know, with your presence, because all of those things are a part of your presence. You get what I'm saying? And all of that is encompassed, is encompassed in game. And it starts with taking care of yourself. You get what I'm saying? So this is why, this is why I have, I have this series. It's personal care versus uh, uh, looks. Because in the end, it's not necessarily about looks. It's about the way you take care of yourself. A woman, a woman recognizes and she sees, she's like, yo, this dude smell good, he look good, his nails are clean, his teeth are clean, his breath is fresh. You understand? Fresh breath doesn't come from breath mints. Fresh breath comes from taking care of your mouth. That's why I did my first video was about, you know, oral hygiene and oral health. You understand what I'm saying? Um, get yourself a tongue scrape, a tongue scraper. You understand? Scrape your tongue. Sometimes we don't we don't realize, but a lot a lot of times. Uh, bad breath is caused by, you know, a lot of stuff stuck on our tongue from the day. You understand? Because you go through the whole day talking, you drink coffee, you eat lunch, da 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 Then you, you about to go out on a date, and you still got all that shit on your tongue. So you open up your mouth, you start talking, you got coffee breath, or you got milk breath, or you got garlic breath from, you know, from whatever the bullshit you ate that day. You get, you get, you get what I'm saying? So it starts with hygiene, personal care. And then, then you get to the cologne. Then you get to the all the other stuff because it all works together, guys. It all works together. So, like, let me show y'all them, them again. So it's Mr. Burberry by uh, Burberry. Uh, this is uh, Versace Pour Homme. Uh, this is Halloween Man by a company called JP. It's a French company. And um, this is Sauvage by Dior. You understand? So those are the scents. That's my cologne stuff. That's how I prepare myself for dates or when I'm going out to meet chicks or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Or, and, and, and that's how I try to do my thing on a regular basis. Like even grooming, you know, my mustache, you know, I have, I have a set of clippers. I have a set of balding clippers. Like everything works together, guys. It's not just one thing. Like I told y'all, I, I, I believe I told y'all before, this dude Lucario shapes up his mustache pretty much every day. Like every fucking day you hear the fucking clippers go off in the bathroom before, you know what I'm saying? Before he, before we get ready to go out, or before we even do a fucking live stream, this nigga's in there. You feel what I'm saying? So, 
I say that to say it's about personal care. And, and that is the game of it. You understand? Because you're preparing, you're, you're preparing that space for that female to come into and be comfortable and to find things that she'll like about you. You understand? Based on the fact that you take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. That's game. That is, that's not about looks. That's about the way you treat yourself. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. I hope you, I hope you learned something. Like I said, guys been asking me about the cologne stuff. So I wanted to do another video about it, uh, do a video about it. Um, we appreciate you guys. And as always, the truth is inside you. Peace. <laughs>